Monday, the Masters runners come out to play. Well, not that you have to be Masters age, which is of course, age 40 and more, but the Ridgewood Run 10K is a Masters championship for both men and women. The Ridgewood Run has been around for a long time, and the website makes for interesting reading when you find the course records page. More, running, our house was a wash, but not a washout. Way back in 1993, local hero Joel May set the course record of 29-11 when he was in the 25-29 to age division. That would put LeMay now in the M50 division if he were to race Monday. He would have to beat Hillsborough's Brian Crowley's time of 33.57 set just last year to take that title. Reno Sturrett of Rockaway set the M60 age division course record of 38.28 in 2016. Sturrett posted on Facebook Friday that he is dealing with a back issue. He is registered to run but the back may prevent it from happening. Some of the age division records were set some time ago, like those of Austin Newman of Westfield, who ran a 46-32 in the M75 division, or Dudley Healy of Chatham whose record of 51-16 in the M80 has stood for quite some time. More, running. Championships race to the forefront this month. But 89 year old Nathaniel Finestone's M85 record time of 110 and 26 seconds was set in 2014, and Finestone of Mountainside is still competing and will be running on Monday. Misa Damora of Ridgewood set the W50 record in 2016 of 38.43, and Lisa Swain of Fairlawn set the W55 of 43.38 in 2014. Imad Eisen of Princeton set the W80 record of 105 and 20 seconds in 2017. Both Dyson and Tamora are listed as registered for the race Monday. The Ridgewood Run is actually an all-morning event, with a 5K following the 10K, which is then followed by Elite Road Miles. In 2017, Ben Malone of Rivervale finished in 4.23 to win the Open Men division, while Mark Williams of Columbia won the Masters Mile in 4.42. Rolanda Bell of Laurelton, New York, won the Open Women's Mile in 5.05. Elena Roshko of Morristown won the Masters Women's Mile in 5.33. The New Balance Grand Prix and the Mini Grand Prix have been posted and no surprise that Charlie Slaughter of Parsippany has the lead in the overall Grand Prix. He is all but one of the maximum nine races. I Elites of Jersey City has the women's lead. What I find interesting is the contest in the Category 3 miniseries. Ricardo Romero of Hillsboro with four of the five necessary races has the lead, but in second place with just three races is Aaron Lesko of Morristown with 1,898 points and in third is Michael Dixon of Highland Park with 1,893 points. Les Cow beat Dixon in the two distance races that they both competed in, and both have the maximum 500 points in a non-championship race. Ah, interesting that Stacy Slaughter, daughter of Charlie, is leading I Elites in the Category 3 miniseries women's division. In the Category 1 mini-series, Rob Albano of Mawa has a so far perfect score of 3,700 with 7 of the maximum 8 races. Yes, he has won every race in that category that he entered. <music> Elena Roshko has a similar record. She has won 4 out of 5 races and will easily move from 2nd to 1st with just 3 more Category 1 races. 
What is interesting about these mini division series is that the top three people in the overall New Balance Grand Prix are removed at season's end from the mini series result for awards. If Roshko, for example, places in the top three in the New Balance series, she will disappear from the minis. Race results can often be found at or at. A calendar of use of sanctioned events can be founded or at for running and try and biathlon events.